Hi, I'm Sean Dixon with NaturalHitting.com. Today's lesson is where do we set the tee up to start working on our swing? Where do we make contact with the ball in, rela in relationship to the plate and in relationship to our body? First of all, for tee ballers, I've seen co uh, games and practices over and over take the tee and actually place the tee right on top of the plate, just like this. They'll set this tee up right in the middle of the plate. Now, because they set the ball right up in the middle of the plate, that's going to cause a problem for most t-ball players, the little five, six, and seven-year-olds. Let me explain. As coaches, we tend to teach our players to stand at the plate to give them a reference of where to stand. We may put the bat on the corner of the plate so they can get the right distance away. And now we set a little five-year-old right here to hit this ball. I want you to see that the ball is pretty much in the middle of my body, in the middle of my torso. Now, for the tee baller, this is all common sense. They see the ball, they're standing here. The coach gets their feet uh, in the right place, they get their hands holding the bat in the right place. Now, from this point, the, the five-year-old's gonna swing and hit the ball, right? Well, he knows he's not gonna go and swing straight down because he's gonna hit the ball straight into the ground. He knows he doesn't wanna do that. The tee baller, is wanting to hit the ball into the uh, field there or, or back towards the pitcher. The tee baller is not going to make contact and hit the ball like that. If he did, he'd hit a foul ball, right? He's not going to hit the ball like this. He'd hit a foul ball or hit the ball at, at himself. Well, see, this is all common sense for the five-year-old. So he knows he wants to make contact straight on with the ball like that. Well, in order to do that from where he is standing at the plate and where the ball is, the first thing he's going to do with his bat barrel is throw it out this way. He's going to throw it out this way and then sw sweep the bat to the ball. So it's throw the bat barrel and then sweep the bat to the ball. That is what the five-year-old is going to do. Now, this is called casting. And we have so many, so many problems with casting especially in the older ages, just because of where we learn to hit the ball on the tee when we play tee ball. So we need to correct tee ball uh, games and practices and stop hitting the ball right here over top of the plate. Now, another thing that happens is because the ball's there, this also kills moving my body in a natural way towards the pitcher or to do anything with my body. I, I don't want to take a step. As a player, I'm not going to want to take a step because the ball gets further behind me. I'm not going to want to turn my body because now the ball's behind me. See what happens just because of where we put the ball. So here's the fix. Whether you play t-ball or whether you play high school, we need to be making contact with the ball in front of the plate at least five to six inches, if not more, in front of the plate like there okay so for a, a tee baller now you got to think a little five-year-old down here he's going to be here his stride may be right there that's going to be perfect for him making contact all right for high school for 15 year olds for 12 year olds we need to be making contact in front of the plate now in order to do that we don't necessarily have to stand right beside the plate itself because the plate is for the umpire, the catcher, and the pitcher. So we could actually stand behind the plate here and then now the ball looks like it's really far in front of my body, right? Well, this is going to create a natural move that the players are going to want to do. The ball is way out in front. They're going to want to move towards the ball. They also may even want to take their hands and their body and turn to make contact with the ball. And when we put the ball out there, this helps, keeps us from casting the bat. See, if I cast a bat here and sweep out there, that, that just feels so very uncomfortable to my body. So players are not gonna necessarily do a casting swing if they're trying to make contact in front of the plate. Now, one other thing. If I take an, a normal stance here take a, a normal stride and come out here and rotate and make contact with the ball, 
if you see that that ball is actually in front of my front foot. Making contact with the ball down the middle in front of the front foot is what we need to be doing. See, look at this major league hitter here. Here he is making contact. And this guy's, you know, he's over six foot tall. He's got a big stride. The ball is made, con he's making contact with the ball way out in front of the plate. You see that? It's making contact with the ball in front of his front foot. And also, if you'll notice, his torso or his body is actually turned and facing the pitcher. So his body's turned, the ball's out in front, and he's making contact in front of the plate and in front of his front foot. Now that's more for a down the middle pitch. Uh, inside pitch, we may hit it further out in front. An outside pitch, we may hit it a little bit over top of the front corner of the plate. But that's the general area that we need to be working on hitting a ball on a tee. Now if you'll go on to the next YouTube clip that I have here, we're going to discuss what do the arms actually do in the swing.